Hey everyone, it's me Nita and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm just going to be working on a bunch of samples for my Etsy shop. Um, I recently bought a bunch of AJ blanks and I'm planning on adding shirts now to my Etsy shop. So I'm just going to be making some cute Easter shirts today. And then I also need to make a like I also need to make like a donut themed shirt too. I'm not sure if I'll have enough time to do all that tonight. We'll see. I still have a bunch of stuff that I still need to do. I have a bunch of orders that I have to pack up. Um, I have things that I need to list on my website as well. So I'm gonna try and bust out as much as I can, but let's just go ahead and dive right in. Okay, so you can't really see the design too well on the screen because with the embroidery designs that I'm doing tonight, I'm just doing embroidery designs that are doing, I think it's called a bean stitch. Because I have a P800, it's, I don't have time really, especially with two little ones running around, to sit and babysit a design. So I need some type of design that'll stitch out quickly and these bean stitches stitch out so fast and they're so cute and I just love the simplicity of them as well. So I'm like trying to think of quick designs that I could do to help get me more sales on my Etsy and on my website and things like that. So I just want simple designs so I can try and like bust as many of the orders out as I can. So I have this cute bunny rabbit and then I'm gonna do a boy version but instead of like a big bow it's just gonna have like a little bow tie. Um, so I'm gonna make one of these and then a boy version of that. And then I'm also going to do this like donut theme design as well because I made like these really cute donut sprinkled like bell bottoms and I want a shirt to go with it because I want to have it as like a set. So Eric he digitized this design for me. I have the same design as like a HTV version but I want to do an embroidered version as well so hopefully I'll have time to make that tonight as well. Also guys I haven't posted like a new YouTube video in like a week and a half. The main reason why is because I have been working on a brand new website. If you guys have been watching, you guys know that I use Squarespace as my web host. Um, but because I want to offer digital designs, and Squarespace only allows you to download whatever digital design you purchase. They only give you like a 24 hour window to download it or it expires. So, so I really don't want my customers to have to deal with that if they don't download their embroidery file like right away. I want them to be able to have like unlimited downloads and be able to download the design whenever they're able to. So I switched over to, I switched over to Shopify and it was quite difficult. I'm not no I'm not really tech savvy and I'm not good at building websites. Um, Squarespace made it really easy for me to be able to build a website. Um, Shopify was a little bit more difficult for me, um, but I think I have the hang of it now. So before we get started on those embroidery designs, I kind of want to show you like a tour of my website because I worked really hard on this and I'm actually just kind of proud of myself um, because this took me forever to do and I still have a lot more work to do to it, but I just want to show you guys what it looks like as of now. So when you come over to my website, um, I wanted it to keep it. I wanted to keep it really simple and easy to navigate for my customers. Um, so at the very top, you have, or I have my fabric, the clothing that I sell, embroidery designs, baby blankets, bandanas, dog bandanas, and hopefully, if I have time, I want to start making a blog as well. And then when you come to my website, you'll see my logo, nice and big. And then the first thing that my customers will see is like my fabric and then if they click on shop fabric it will take them to all the fabric that I'm currently selling and I just launched my minky fabric so that's something that I'm also really proud about as well. Um, two people so far has so far have bought some minky fabric for me so thank you so much for um, supporting my small business I appreciate it. And then when you come down, you also have my embroidery designs. And when you click on that, you can see the current ones we have right now. We have a ton that we need to list. It's just, I haven't had time to sit down and list more items. But if you sign up for our email list, I actually just sent this design out. This is the free design for the month of February. I will be sending out March's free applique design relatively soon. So if you haven't signed up yet for our email list, make sure you go do that um, so you don't miss out on the next design. And then same over here, I'm gonna be having a bunch of like work motivation, mom, 
inspiration kind of shirts. Um, anything that kind of resonates with my business. So I'm going to have a bunch of motivational shirts. I have my dog bandanas and then my baby blankets. And then when you scroll down, you'll see like my featured collection, which, which is all my minky fabric. And again, another place for people just to shop the minky fabric. I also added some customer reviews. I got these reviews to my Etsy shop, so I added them to my website. And then I have a link to my YouTube. And then a really awesome website that I like to use to get SVGs and fonts. And then yeah, so that's my new website guys. I am so, so, so proud of it. I still have a lot to add to it, but I'm loving how it looks so far. Okay guys, so it's definitely not the best angle of me and the best lighting, but this is what I have to work with. So I'm gonna be using a five by seven hoop. I'm gonna be floating the shirt. Um, I have some cutaway stabilizer that I'll be using. I'll also be using this um, temporary adhesive spray. I'm gonna need some fabric that has heat and bond light ironed onto the back of it because these are gonna be my appliques. And I'm gonna be using AJ Blinks for the shirt. Um, I have a link down below, so if you're in need of some good embroidery blanks, definitely um, check the link down below. So I'm most likely only gonna be able to offer, um, I think 12 month up to a 3T. Cause I think if I try and do any bigger of a shirt with a five by seven, I don't think the design will look very good. Um, I do have another machine. It's in the shop right now getting fixed. That machine has a six by 10 hoop. So once I get that machine back, I'll be able to do shirts that are much bigger. Um, Cause I'm trying to do these designs as quickly as possible. So trying to like reposition the shirt to do like another part of the design is very time consuming. So I'm just gonna be offering the smaller shirts for right now. Once I get a multi-needle though, that's when I'll be able to um, do bigger shirts. But that's why I'm adding all these shirt designs to my Etsy shop because I mostly just focus on baby blankets and dog bandanas and fabric. I also focus on HTV as well. So I wanna offer as many items as I can to try and get as many styles as I can because I wanna get a multi-needle, so I'm hustling. So I have my stabilizer hooped. Put a little bit of the adhesive spray. I'm also going to use my little grid thing as well. Just because I'm not an expert at embroidering shirts, this is um, maybe like my second or third time embroidering, embroidering shirts. I actually just got um, a t-shirt order for one of my pocket tees that I embroidered. So that was really nice, but I haven't really had too much experience trying to embroider on shirts. So, and if you're looking for a tutorial, this one definitely is not <laughs> the best video probably to watch for a tutorial. I'm just hanging out with you guys. Okay, so I have this little air soluble marker. Um, it erases over time, or you can use like a blow dryer and it'll disappear, or, dis or you could spritz it with some water and it will disappear, so. But it should disappear over time. So I definitely don't know if this step is necessary, but this is like the easiest way for me. So now I'm gonna go ahead and flip my shirt inside out. And where I did my little marks, I'm going to match them up onto the hoop. Okay, so I have my shirt hooped. Okay, now I'm just gonna go ahead and upload my design. Guys, I'm actually kind of nervous doing this. Like this is totally out of like my element, I guess. I'm so used to doing baby blankets. So this is completely different for me. All right, so I'm definitely gonna switch out my thread color. I'm thinking because I have these two colors I'm gonna need a really dark, dark stitch to be able to make the bow and the bunny pop. So, I'm gonna go for like this really dark, dark, like 
gray color. I don't think you guys can see it very well, but I think that'll look cute. This is the same um, design that I actually did for a baby blanket order. I do believe I recorded it. I don't remember. Pretty sure I have it in a video. Okay, so actually this design wants to start with the name, which is okay with me. Now, I don't know what color to do for the name. What do you guys think? Get down below. So this is gonna be pink for the bunny, and this is gonna be for the bow. The bow has a little bit of a lavender color in some of the flowers, so I think I'm gonna do the name in a purple. Okay, I'll do the name in like a dark purple. And then for the name as well for this design, I'm doing a different type of font. So instead of doing satins, satin stitches for the name, I'm doing another bean stitch kind of styled font. So here we go. Okay, so I forgot to combine the letters, so after each letter like stitches out, it stops and I have to press go again. So make sure to combine the letters so you don't have to constantly stop and go, stop and go. <laughs> Okay, so the name stitched out pretty nicely. I love how it looks. This part I get nervous about because I don't want to get my fingers close to the needle, but let's go ahead and let's stitch out the next part of the design. I have a chopstick to help kind of keep the shirt out of the way. Okay, here we go, guys. I'm not experienced at doing this, so I'm gonna stop my machine when I need to like readjust the shirt. Because this is a really tiny shirt. Whew. Okay guys, I did the tack down stitch, I did it, okay. Okay, so now we're gonna go ahead and do like the first um, applique design. Okay, so you guys can kind of see it a little bit. So we have the bunny rabbit part done. to tell because the shirt is so tiny but there is the bunny rabbit. I'm gonna go ahead now and re-hoop it and it's going to do the bow part.
Okay, so now I just need to cut the applique for the bow. So definitely, definitely I will not be able to do this with my boys around because you literally can't take your eyes off of this machine. Um, that's one reason why I love doing the baby blankets because you can kind of just set it and somewhat, you know, forget it, but you're able to multitask. So if um, I start getting a bunch of these orders, I'm definitely going to have to do these at nighttime and save like my baby blankets for during the day when um, my boys are awake and I'm with my boys. Okay, so, so that's how it's looking so far. Um, I'll be able to show you guys a better view once I take it off the hoop, but now it just needs to do those bean stitches for the bow and then that's it for this design. I'm thinking for this bow though, I need to switch out the thread because this is darker fabric and the thread or the bean stitches is um, supposed to give like the bow an outline to actually make it look like a bow. So I'm thinking I'm going to use a pinkish color instead. I'm gonna go with this like rose gold kind of color. Notice with the bow, I kind of cut the fabric too close to the stitches, which caused the fabric to fray a little bit. Hopefully once it's heat pressed and the heat and bond is adhered, um, it won't be as bad, hopefully, fingers crossed. All right guys, down in the comments, let me know what do you guys think of the design? Any tips or tricks? Now with these little purple dots, I don't know if the camera's picking them up. Again, you can just spritz them with water and you won't be able to see them. Now the only thing that I have to do now is heat press it so the heat and bond will stick to the shirt and then I also need to put, um, and then I need tender touch too on the inside of the shirt so the stitches like and this um, tearaway stabilizer won't irritate the kid. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and get started on the boy version now. Okay, so for the boys t-shirt, I'm going to be using a gray 2T. Um, and for the bunny, I'm doing this like avocado green and this yellow for the bow tie. messed up part of like the bow didn't get stitched down so I need to use my seam ripper my least favorite tool to use
Okay, so I finished editing this design. I'm worried about this one just because there's a lot of satin stitches, so hopefully this one doesn't take too long to stitch out. Let me know down in the comments if you think I should sell this embroidery design. Um, I think it's so cute. Um, let me know down in the comments what you think. Okay, so for testing this design out for the first time, it came out pretty cute. There are a few adjustments um, Eric will have to make on it. I didn't cut this uh, applique fabric close enough to the stitches, so I ended up getting like this fuzziness around the satin stitches, so I'm just trying to go back with scissors and clean this up. Luckily, this is just a sample. I'm just testing out this design, um, and I need practice embroidering on shirts so that's why I'm using these and then um, I have a friend that has a daughter too so her daughter is about to get tons of new <laughs> embroidered shirts if I had my freaking applique scissors this jaw would be a little bit easier I probably would have gotten closer to the stitches if I had the right scissors So here are all my finished products. This is the next day. Um, I ended up falling asleep last night and I wasn't able to finish my last t-shirt but I was able to finish it this morning and, then I, and I just want to go ahead and show you guys. So here is this one. Now I had a few mess ups. I forgot to cut the jump stitches before I laid down my applique fabric and as you can see, you can see it through the applique but you know, this is my like first tester so um, I think it came out cute and this is going to my friend so if this was for a customer I would have had to like start all over or just make sure to cut those stitches but it's for my friend so no, no big deal um, here's Mason's his came out perfect um, I definitely need to get some new applique scissors or I just need to find mine um, I cut the fabric a little too close to the bean stitches. Um, I need to cut them a little bit further away. I think it'll look cuter that way, but this came out perfect. For this design, um, there are some adjustments I need to make to the actual embroidery design. My husband created this whole design, so we have a few things we need to fix. So for example, I didn't cut the applique fabric close enough to the tack down stitches and there's like this a little bit of fraying right here and fuzziness um, one thing that would help was one having applique scissors two making these satin stitches a little bit thicker so it's not so close to that um, tack down stitch and you know if you don't cut as close you you won't be able to notice it 
So that's something we definitely have to fix for this design. There are a few things with the font that I want to fix, but overall, I really love this design and how it turned out. Definitely though, I think the biggest I could do with this design until I get my other machine back is basically up to a 2T. I think a 3T would be pushing it. Um, I also feel like it's a little crooked too. But you know, this is like my first, not first try at doing applique um, shirts, but this is definitely not what I'm used to. I've done a few shirts in the past with my other machine, um, and it was so difficult that I was like, you know what, forget it. Um, this wasn't actually too hard, especially doing these simple designs. These literally took like six minutes to stitch out, and I'm so sad that I messed up on that part, but both of those were quick and cute, and this one wasn't too bad. Um, I was able to almost kind of set it and forget it once I got the appliques down, but you still have to like sit right next to the machine, but at least like I was able to pick up Mason and hold Mason while this was stitching out. Um, I am pairing this up with the bell bottom pants. I will leave a link up here for the video that I did on making these. Now it's not a tutorial. This video and um, the video I did on these pants are definitely not tutorials. It's basically just like a sew along with me, work with me kind of video of me testing out new things from my shop because like I said, like I'm used to doing baby blankets. I'm not like used to doing shirts and sewing clothes, but it's definitely something I'm stepping out of like my comfort zone because I want to be able to offer as many different things in my shop. I want like Nita and Thread to be a brand, you know, so um, also I didn't cut the stabilizer in the back, the, um, the cutaway stabilizer close enough to the design. So you do see a little bit of like a box on this design, but again, I'm, you know, I'm learning. So I'm going to be practicing some more. I want to make Jackson this same shirt, but do it in these colors. I definitely need to go shopping for more applique fabrics. So Maybe I can convince my husband to uh, go to Joann's with me so we can get some more applique fabrics to test out new shirt designs and to test out his um, applique designs. Because he made this avocado design, I stitched this out last night too because I'm uploading this embroidery file to my website. I have to do the girl version as well. Um, so that's something I'll be working on today. Um, it did pucker right here. But, you know, I'm not an expert, guys, in any way at embroidery, but I'm having fun with it. My husband, he's really, he's getting so good at digitizing. I'm really impressed. Um, I'm thinking with this, I should have doubled up on the fabric to kind of help. Because you can see the dots poking through underneath. Um, so little things I'm learning along the way. And by far, I am not perfect. Okay guys, so it's, you know, it's the next day. I, Mason kept waking up last night when I was trying to work on these shirt samples. So I wasn't able to do the donut one until this morning. Um, literally every time I moved and tried to sneak away, he woke right back up and it was like 2 a.m. and I was like, forget it, I'm just gonna lay next to him and go to bed with him. So that's why I'm still in my same clothes and that's why I look like a hot mess because I literally just woke up and finished these samples because now I have to get ready for the day. Well, we're really not ready, but I need to get cleaned up. And I also need to package up a ton of fabric orders. Um, two people so far have bought off my website. So thank you if you're watching this. Thank you so much. I appreciate you buying some fabric for me. They bought some cute minky. Um, and then I have a bunch of eBay orders that I need to send out. And I just got two new Etsy orders too. Today I had my queue all cleared out and I had no orders on Etsy and then I woke up to a dog bandana order and my favorite, a um, the farmhouse blanket that I offer. So I have two orders for that, but I'm not going to work on those today. I'm just going to work on the orders, my fabric orders today and then I also need to go take product photos of this outfit. I'm really excited to see how well this does. I also need to go buy... Smart AJ Blanks because 
I'm gonna be making a bunch of samples. But yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure, if you haven't already, to go sign up for my email list because in the next week or so, I'm going to be giving out um, my March free applique design. So if you wanna get a free applique design, make sure to go sign up for my email list on my website. It's all linked down below. Um, if you're in need of some good quality blanks, I use AJ Blanks. I have a link down below for those. That's it for today, guys. Um, I'm going to film me packaging up these orders, so stay tuned for that video. That should be hopefully out tomorrow, I'm hoping. I'm trying to get caught up because I missed a whole week of filming videos, so I want to get caught up and try and do more videos this week to help make up for last week so anyways I will see you guys next time bye Ooh.